Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to do my Champions League Game Week 3 predictions and yes, yeah, still no webcam as of uh, well, yesterday's video uh, well, the championship predictions I don't know when I'm going to post this but yeah, uh, should we um, look back on match day 2 I had 32 points so overall I do have a total of 85 points um, not awful as you can see then uh, not an awful score so far i think first of 126 so i'm only about what 15 plus um 26 is uh 41 so i'm not too far off and plus we have got yet again another league simulator i'm a league simulator um you know addict addict i think so i just love the league simulator stuff so as you can see i've already done the first two game weeks off camera and as you can see by the groups, that's how they are on um, the table so far. A few of them are Chelsea lasses uh, right there. Game six. So, yeah. So, we're going to be doing that at the end of the video as well. But should we start off with match day three with Marseille versus Sporting? Um, Marseille sitting currently fourth with zero points and Sporting top of the table. Two, two games and two wins. The last result, I think, was a 2 0 over Tottenham. Um, a last, a, you know, a you know, last minute's equal, like, no, no, like a late show at uh, Sporting Tottenham. It was um, fantastic to see that, you no know, Sporting actually won a few games and, um, you no, know, no, beat Tottenham. It was a 90th minute and a 93rd minute goal. <laughs> wow when you call it late. It's a brilliant show, a late show at Sporting. But going away at Marseille is always going to be tough. Um, as you see, the, most, the popular predictions are 2-1 Sporting and 1-1 and 2-1 Marseille. For me, I'm going to go 2-0 Sporting. So that's not even in the popular predictions. It's going to be a, a classic, 2-0 Sporting. If they can beat Tottenham 2-0, I think they could beat Marseille 2 0. Marseille decent. They are a decent team, but they're at the bottom of the table. They need to pick up points quite rapidly. But for me, I don't think they will. Moving on to Bayern versus Pizan. I think this could be an absolute dominational show. As you can tell by the popular predictions, uh 26% have gone for 4 0 Bayern, 22 with 5 0, 15 with 3 0. Uh Bayern has to sit top of the table, two Two, two uh, played two wins uh, with Barcelona. Uh, no, not Barcelona. Present two games, zero wins. So it's going to be interesting. I'm very excited for this game. Um, but yeah, uh, it's going to be a, a dominational game for Bayern. I, just, I don't see them, you know, bottling this at all. Um, for me, 4 0 Bayern. It's. A dominant performance, isn't it? I'm actually going to play my uh, active boost there because Plazen are just... Well, they scored one goal, seven conceded. They scored... They conceded seven in two games of football. It's, it's just embarrassing, really. Moving on to Frankfurt versus Tottenham. Tottenham uh, coming off a 2-0 loss to Sporting. Um, and they sit second... Frankfurt sit third, both on three points, um, one win all tournament and one loss, of course. Uh, Tottenham have scored two, conceded two. Uh, Frankfurt have scored one and conceded three. So that's why Tottenham are ahead on um, goal difference. Um, Tottenham, the popular predictions are two on Tottenham with 43% and 1-1 one, one with 15%. Um <sighs> I'm not too sure with this game. I think Tottenham will just have enough. I'm going to go with an unpopular prediction, 2-0. Um, as you see, it's not on the popular prediction list. So, for me, it'd be a 2-0 relaxed, just a comfortable result for Tottenham. Uh, just coming off a 3-1 loss to Arsenal in the North London derby um, today of the time of recording. Um, so, yeah, Tottenham... <laughs> Well, for three one loss of Arsenal and there, you know, the North London derby is not brilliant for them. But 
they'll, they'll live through it. It's um, but no, they'll get a comfortable result over Frankfurt. Moving on to an absolute corker: Inter Milan versus Barcelona. It's second v third. One win for both teams, one loss for both teams. Funny enough, they both came over Plzen. Um, with Barcelona scoring five goals, into Milan scoring two goals. So Bayern, uh, no Barcelona lost two nil to uh to Bayern, but won five one over Plzen. Into Milan beat Plzen two nil. It was um. It's a comfortable result, but it wasn't, you know, a high scoring result. For me, in that case, you know, Barcelona have lost to Bamiyang, who did just score again today for Chelsea. Um, but I think overall in La Liga, I want to see how they did, how they did in La Liga. Oh, well, actually, La Liga. Uh, they're top of the table, um, but Brown did have a game in hand. So. Yeah, Barcelona are, are still top of the bunch, so I have to give them credit for me. It's going to be a 2 nil Barcelona win. Not a comfortable result. Away at Milan is going to be tough. At Inter Milan is going to be tough, of course. It's always going to be tough. You know, going um, away at Milan, the San Siro, but Barcelona will go there. They'll just about nick two goals out out somewhere and um get a huge huge two 0 win. But yeah, moving on to Club Rouge versus Atletico Madrid. Uh, Club Rouge don't look. Actually, I need to see because I think Club Rouge are top of the group, haven't they? Yeah, Club Rouge are looking very strong. Atletico Madrid though, one win, one loss, two scored, three conceded. Uh, Club Rouge. Top of the bunch, two games, two wins, uh, five goals scored, no conceded. Lovely jubbly. And uh, Club Rouge move on to Atletico Madrid at home. If Club Rouge do win this game, they'll have a very good chance of getting to the net, to the knockouts of the Champions League. And the Belgian team will be advancing. Uh, honestly, well played to Club Rouge. They have been a real, a real, a real good side. Honestly, Club Rouge have been a uh, a surprise package, as I as people would say. They have been a very good surprise package for me, for Club Bruges. Atletico Madrid, on the other hand, uh, they look all right. Um, in in the Liga, where are they in the Liga? They're fifth, so they're currently sitting in the Europa League group stage. Yeah, so they're sitting in the Europa League. Uh, two points off Real Betis. Uh, three points off Athletic Athletic Club, so fair enough to Athletic Club for uh, getting third, um, so far. But yeah, let's go Madrid in the Champions League. How are they done? They lost two 0 to Leverkusen, um, and then beat Porto on the opening game. Um, Porto Club Rouge has just been brilliant. I think are they first in the Belgium League or uh, yeah, the Belgium Pro League? They're third actually. Um, also, you know, first have a game in hand, but in the Champions League, they've been a real unit. Uh, beating Porto 4 0 and then beating Leverkusen 1 0. So, Club Brugge are looking on fire for me. A 2 1 Club Brugge win. Moving on to Porto versus Leverkusen. Um, Porto um, sitting fourth. Just getting battered by Club Rouge 4 0 in the last Champions League game. Leverkusen currently sitting in the qualification for the knockout stages spots, just based on goal difference uh, by two goal difference. It's going to be tough against Porto, especially away in Portugal. Porto needing a win. Um, if Club Rouge win, I think that second place is all up for grabs because if uh, Porto win, and they beat Leverkusen and Atletico Madrid lose as well. All of the three teams will be on three points, and it'll be Club Brugge on nine. Um, sitting strong, sitting firm. Porto have to win, and for me, they'll scrape it. A two-one win, scrap their neck. It'll be a, a difficult game for what to watch Porto fans, but I think you'll just about nick a win there. But yeah, moving on to Ajax versus Napoli. Um, Ajax sit third, 
Napoli sit first. Napoli two played, two wins, seven goals scored and one conceded. Um, you know, just what you wanted, you know, six points out of possible six. What a start for Napoli. With Ajax, so one win and one loss. They lost. Now, Ajax lost to Liverpool, didn't they? An uh, 89th minute goal for Martin Kills for Binho. Um, no, Matip. Um, but yes, Napoli, though, just they're looking strong, Napoli. They're looking strong. How are they doing in Serie A? That's the main thing. They're f- top of the group, top of the pile. But Atalanta do have a game in hand. Um, in so far in the Champions League, they beat Rangers three nil and they beat Liverpool four one. So, you know, what start? Ajax on the other hand, though, I think they're probably top of their league. No, the second. Alkmaar with um, are they? Nah, they won't. Um, so, yeah, it's not looking great for Ajax, but um, for me. It's going to be a 2-1 Napoli win. And that's the most popular prediction. So, yeah. Moving on to Liverpool versus Rangers. Liverpool just coming off a uh, 2-1 win over Ajax. Also in the Premier League, just coming off a 3-3 draw over Brighton. Um, With Rangers, on the other hand, um, their Champions League run is shocking. Uh second place in the league in the Scottish. Um, they sit fourth. Two games, zero points, seven conceded, no score. They have not scored a single goal. Uh, they conceded four over Ajax, three over Napoli. Again, picked out so easily, Rangers. And Liverpool, I don't know what... I don't know Liverpool. I think, I think Liverpool will concede. I think their defences recently have been pretty shocking, but up front, they have a field day. 3-1 for me for Liverpool, and that is, you know, 21% of the people agree with me. It's going to be a comfortable result for Liverpool. Um, I actually don't see being brilliant. And, uh, yeah, moving on to Leipzig versus Celtic. Um, these are all the Wednesday night games, third v fourth. Leipzig have to win, but so do Celtic. I think this is... um. This is Europa League battle. Leipzig versus Celtic, Europa League battle. Uh, I can see Ramjan and Shakhtar getting first and second. She's between third. Who can get third? And it'll be down to these two games. These are the six pointers. And possibly Celtic win. And Ramjan will probably beat uh, Shakhtar. So honestly, Celtic and Shakhtar could be battling it out for Qualify um for knockouts and it could be whoever loses that battle of knockouts do end up getting the Europa League spot. So South if they do Celtic do beat Leipzig um on Wednesday, they do go four points clear of them and that really settles things really because Leipzig to win two games, one of them has to be either Shakhtar, Rounded or Celtic. It's gonna be tough. Um I think Celtic got back to back games with Leipzig in the Champions League. I think that's how it works. The third game you go back to back on them. Um, yeah, so you do as well. So these are absolute critical points for both teams. <sighs> Celtic top of the Scottish League as well, I think. So put that in mind for me, it'll be a one one draw. Um naturally. I'm going to go for Celtic. 1-0 Celtic. Nah. 2-0 Celtic. 2-0 Celtic. And that's gone against both popular predictions. 37% of the people who play this have predicted 2-0 Leipzig. 28. 37 predict 2-0. 28% predict 2-1 Leipzig. So no one predicts Celtic in the popular predictions. So that's fascinating to watch see as well. Moving on to Salzburg versus Dynamo Zagreb. Um, of group, I don't actually know what group that is. Uh, where even is it on this? There we go. It's group uh, E with Chelsea and Milan. It's, uh, it's second or third. And I think Chelsea will be praying for a draw here uh, for both teams because um, Chelsea are sitting at the bottom of the table looking really poor. Um, but yeah, Dynamo sitting second, surprisingly. Um, I think they did just lose to. Milan, I believe, was it Milan? Um, 
in the Champions League. Yeah, it was banana. Three one loss to Milan. So that's an that's accept not an acceptable. That is acceptable. Um, Salzburg though sitting with two points. They've drawn both games over Chelsea and Milan. So fair enough to them from both games there. Yeah, it's a way at Chelsea, so that's a tough place to go. Uh, Dynamo, I think, beat Chelsea and then lost to Milan. I, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to see a 1 1 draw here. Salzburg have drawn both games 1 1, and see, you can see that is in the popular predictions. No one's predicted a win for Dynamo, which I it's a bit surprising because the Dynamo did just beat Chelsea, but that is against two. I don't know. It's, it's difficult, but yeah, uh, one one for me. Moving on to Benfica versus PSG, the likes of Mbappe, Messi, um, you know, Neymar should be really tearing up this group, and they are. And these are both teams who have won both games, and Juventus are in the mud. Juventus are in the mud. Let's say PSG, though, beat Benfica twice. PSG are through. Um, simple as that. In a PSG, I think we have to beat either... We have to beat Mikhaza Haifa and <laughs> just to qualify. So, that's a free win. Um, so, for me, it's going to be so tight between Juventus and Benfica because I think the PSG will beat Benfica twice uh, because they have back-to-back games with against the same team. So, I think Pierce will beat Benfica both times. Juventus will beat Maccabi Haifa to both times. Benfica and Juventus will be both on six points. And how critical is that going into the last five, fifth and sixth game week? But Benfica do have Haifa. Like, that's the key. Being Benfica have Haifa and Juventus have PSG. So, that's the key there. But for me, it'll be a 3 0 PSG win. You've got Mbappe, you've got Messi, you've got Neymar, you've got to use them. And um, I think they will. Comfortable 3 0 away win um, for me. Yeah. Moving on to Juventus versus Maccabi Haifa. Juventus have to win and they have to win convincingly because they have not looked good this whole tournament so far. PSG loss, Benfica loss. Um, 2 1 over Benfica and 2 1 over PSG. So it's not like they get absolutely slaughtered, they get battered. It's just they're just picking out, they're just getting unlucky with results here and there. So I, I do feel for uh, Juventus fans, I think they will pick up all three points here, be a comfortable 3 0 win over Maccabi Haifa. Um, Haifa just they're poor, don't they? They honestly they just look poor. How well are they doing in Serie A? Juventus, eighth. <laughs> they do have a game in hand, though, on some teams. Even that. The highest they could go is seventh. Of the game in hand. The highest they can go is seventh. So, yeah. <laughs> Juventus had an absolute shocking start. Moving on to Seville versus Dortmund. Uh, Dortmund sits second. Seville sits last. Uh, Seville with a win and a loss and they only just lost 2-1 to City so that's what I said but they have to have back-to-back games over Seville here, they can win those games, they can get to 9 points and that will probably secure them to you know survive to you know qualify qualify, qualify to the next round but um yeah Dortmund with um sadly no Haaland but they do have Royce um What's that man from England? Bellingham in ah, Bellingham is so good. I was joking. I do actually know Bellingham. Is. Bellingham is so good. Simple as that. Bellingham is world class. And the way he played with England, he was so calm. For such a young man, he was so calm with the ball. Um, I think Dortmund are probably a second in the league. Um, or first, second or third, no fourth. Wow. Union Berlin are first. SC Freiburg are second, Bayern are third, and Dortmund are fourth. And there are only two points, both Bayern and Dortmund are both two points off top. But well done to Union Berlin. I did not expect that to happen. Uh, Dortmund, yeah, beat uh, Copenhagen 3 0 and then lost to City 2 1 away, though, for Dortmund against City. It's difficult. Um, for me, I'm going to go 2 0 Dortmund. Is that away, so it's going to be tough, of course. 2-0 to Dortmund for me. Moving on to Man City versus Copenhagen. Um, 
Uh, City, they, they're going to have to thrash Copenhagen. They should be thrashing Copenhagen. Uh, they've got the Manchester Derby tomorrow, because I'm recording this on Saturday. they got Manchester Derby on Sunday. I would put it put in the prediction 4-0 City. They have De Bruyne, Greedish, um, also Man Harlan, um, Mares, uh, Gungan. Um, they've lost, though. They've lost Sterling. They've lost... Uh, they they have lost some key players, um, Man City, but have such a great great squad, absolutely world class. Bernardo Silva, I forgot Stones. I think he's injured though, but still, still, still Stones. But moving on to Real Madrid versus Shakhtar Donetsk, um, uh, first meet second, and for me, this is probably the two teams who are going to qualify. Shakhtar have Real Madrid twice though, so Celtic do beat Salzburg, uh, no Leipzig twice. I mean seven points. Shakhtar are going to have to beat Leipzig and then uh, Celtic. When do Leipzig play Celtic? No, um, ooh, game week five. Ooh, <laughs> this is getting tense. 2nd of November, be there or be square. It's in a month's time, pretty much exactly. So that's going to be interesting. Um, Real Madrid, Benzema. Um, Asensio, I think um, Real Madrid are second, but they do have the game in hand on Barcelona, and they could go I think two points clear Barca, so it's going to be very interesting to see how the uh, the Liga fall, um, plans out this season for me, it's a dominant 3-1 win over Shakhtar. Moving on to Chelsea versus Milan, the last game of the Champions League this um, week Chelsea versus Milan. Such, it's such a big game week, and um, such a big game for Chelsea. They have to win, and it's good because they just came back of a two-one win over Palace today, um, with a a Bamian goal and a Conor Gallagher ninetieth minute winner. So they have that little bit of confidence and a little bit of flair to their game. For me, has. They have to win. Chelsea have to win. There's no if, buts or maybes. They have to win. And for me, they will. 2-1. That's 2-2. Two, two. No, not 2-2. Two, two. I said 2-1, Chelsea. So, yeah, as you can see, all my predictions. I predict 2-1 Sporting, 4-0 Bayern, 2-0 Tottenham, 2-0 Barca, 2-1 uh, Club Rouge, 2-1 Porto. 2-1 Milan, 3-1 Liverpool, 2-0 Celtic, Salzburg 1, Dynamo 1, PSG 3-0, Juventus 3-0, Dortmund 2-0, Man City 4-0, Round 3-1, Chelsea 2-1. So yeah, that is just the first part of the video done. We're moving on to the league simulator. Going into uh, game week 9, 10, 11 and 12 because that's how it works. Um, but should we start off with Liverpool Ajax? That's um, third v first. Napoli Rangers at second v fourth. We need to go to Atletico Madrid, um, third versus Club Bruges in first. That's actually, I swear that's actually like the table. On that, no, I swear down that is literally the table. No way. What, what group is it? Leverkusen, Club Bruges. That's fully the table. And Atletico playing with Club. What is this? What is that? That's literally the table. Six, three, three, two. Oh my god, it's literally the table. Ajax one, uh, Liverpool one, Ajax two, Napoli nil, Rangers nil, uh, Atletico Madrid nil, Club Brugge four, and Leverkusen one, Porto one. So going into game week four for these lot, Ajax top the group, and I say top, uh, Napoli in second, Liverpool in third. And Rangers in fourth. Um, moving into Group Two, uh, Club Brugge sit top of the table, six points um, clear of third. Um, Leverkusen sits second, and West Madrid sits third, and Porto sit fourth. Moving on to Group Three and Four, with Plzen versus Bayern. Plzen sit top of the table. That's jokes. Uh, Bayern sit last. Seems Plzen v Bayern. It's it's, it's the tables have switched and uh, Barcelona play into Milan 
and that's a close battle. One point to bring these two sides. Frankfurt play Marseille. Frankfurt's at second with Marseille sit fourth. Tottenham play Sporting. Uh, it was actually a 2 0 Sporting in real life. So, will that be the same? We'll, we'll see. Uh, Plezen nil, Bayern two. Millet, uh, Barcelona nil, Inter Milan nil. Uh, Frankfurt two, Marseille nil, Sporting nil, uh, Tottenham nil. So, that's actually interesting. Um, D Group 3, Barcelona actually overtake Plezen. And now, what? Group 3 is the most tense group now. 5 4 4 3. Bayern could even leap for Barca. That's, that's, that's mad. That's mad. What a group that is. Group 4, though. Frankfurt's at top. Sporting. It's between Frankfurt, Sporting, and Tottenham. Uh, 6 5 4. Moving on to Group 5, it's Arbid Leipzig versus Milan. Uh, no, Salzburg, even Milan. Uh, first be second. Dan Evans and Greb, third be fourth. Uh, group 6. Uh, Celtic v Shakhtar, it's second v fourth. Round did play Leipzig first v third. So Shak uh, Salzburg two, AC Milan one, Dynamo Zagreb one, Chelsea one, Celtic two, Shakhtar one, and Leipzig one. Shak uh, round did nil. Uh, so Salzburg or oh, Chelsea are pretty much out, aren't they? Uh, they're gonna have to somehow. Do a miracle to survive. Uh, Salzburg top of the group, Milan second, Zagreb third, and Chelsea in fourth. Celtic first, Real Madrid second, so uh, I'll be Leipzig um third, Shakhtar last. Shakhtar pretty much out. It's between Celtic, Real Madrid, and and I'll be Leipzig. Wow, what a group! Six six six. Oh, that's a double number. Uh, moving on to. Group seven and eight, Seville versus Dortmund, and um, Man City versus Copenhagen. Second, v first, Copenhagen at top. <laughs> That's actually jokes. Um, uh, Juventus third play. Um, Kabi Haifa in wow in fourth, and Benfica play PSG. Seville three, Dortmund one, Man City two, Copenhagen one. Juventus 2, Maccabi Ahifa 2, and Benfica 0, PSG 1. So that wraps up pretty much this whole thing. Man City top, Seville second, Copenhagen third, and Dortmund fourth. With uh, Group 8, Benfica first, PSG second, Juventus third, and Maccabi Ahifa in fourth. So yeah, that does wrap up the video. I'll go through the groups as you can see quite quickly what the groups look like. But yeah, that does wrap up the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.